Hey guys, this is John with hookahjohn.com again. Today for a very informational video. It's about bowls. There's been a lot of talk about bowls in the market lately. And there's been some issues and some people on social media have been criticizing me for saying anything about it. Like God forbid Hookah John say anything about other manufacturers bowls out there. Well, the thing is I work for you guys. I don't work for the guys who are sitting there complaining about me. I'm gonna show you some, let me do a little refresher in case you're new and you don't know any of the bowls here that we have. This right here is the Hookah John Alien Bowl. This is the Hookah John Trimony Bowl. This is the Wide Gauge Harmony Bowl by Hookah John. The Flying Saucer Bowl by Hookah John. The Hookah John Harmony Bowl. The 80 Feet Bowl. And this is the beautiful Ferris Bowl. This is the Yellow Berry, one of my favorites. All right, the Ferris Bowl is made for dropping your lotus in. Although you don't necessarily need it, need it, it'll work great with a harmony, a wide gauge harmony, or a trimony. A lot of people say they use it for the alien. I don't agree. It goes over a little bit. Or the 80 feet. The 80 feet and the alien have a different purpose. It's to save you tobacco. Now, instead of getting into more detail about my bowls, I'm going to give you some of the differences between other bowls that have hit the market. And these bowls are really perturbing me. Perturbing me? Does that even make sense? <laughs> I'm becoming perturbed. Anyhow, I'll tell you why. There's several reasons why. Of course, when you take a copy, you take this Harmony Bowl, it's made by hand in the US and has a list price of about $24. And then somebody has got the, by the way, this might get not safe for work. You may want to put some headphones on because I'm starting to feel, I'll keep it calm. How about that? Then you get someone who makes this in China. All right. If you've seen the colors of our Harmony Bowls, we've got these similar colors. They've got the ridges. They've got the little platform here. They've got the same exact shape for the most part. You know, we go through different variances as far as. Uh, you know, when they make so many of these, after a while, somebody will make a, um, uh, there'll be some differences in the way they come out through different batches. But we've had Harmony Bowls look exactly like this in shape and size. Now, this you can get for $10. So, wow, what a deal. We can get this for $10. And this is $24. Forget Hookah John. Why would I buy anything from him? Okay, let me explain something to you guys. Look closely at the differences here in the materials. Okay, can you see that? I don't know if that focus is good, if you can tell anything against the white. Tell me when it focuses good so I can show you something. This material here is American clay. It's got a very uh, granular um, feel to it. This is American clay. I'm not going to give you the exact ingredients, but they are stoneware. This is cheap Chinese ceramic. Probably not food grade, probably, and who knows what it is. So you got two issues here. This is gonna smoke like crap right here. It's gonna smoke like crap. So at $10, this is, guess what? A waste of $10. It's an absolute waste of money. Why do that when you can do this and get a bowl that functions that's been proven, but these bowls have been on the market at least five years. Some genius is like, hey, I know what we can do. Forget Hookah John, I'll just go to China and try to blow them out of the water. Well, if you buy one of these, let me tell you something. Not only are you a fool, you just haven't done your research. Actually, maybe I should take that back. Maybe you're not a fool. Maybe you're just browsing online. In pictures, these look exactly the same. Online, they look exactly the same. So you're gonna get scammed, basically getting one of these. So why would you do that? Okay, see the material in there? Just cheap Chinese. The same stuff that they make all Chinese bowls out of. So. Forget that bowl. Don't waste your time. Get a Hookah John bowl. I got a couple more bowls from a company. I'm not gonna say the name, but some of you guys are gonna notice them. And what really got me mad about these bowls, hear that clinking? You can already tell what kind of material it is. Listen. That's not gonna prove anything to you, but if you're here, in-house, or if you've been unfortunate enough to fall for the sucker trap of buying one of these, When these bowls came out, these right here, they would call this 
their name and call it the alien. And then they would call this their name and the harmony. Like these people have no shame whatsoever other than to go ahead, copy the shape and size and use my names and then undercut them. All right, undercut these. Now again, same Chinese shit. You don't need this. This, it's been proven. These, this type of material doesn't hold the heat. It gets really hot when you're smoking here and the heat goes out of it. So it really does ruin your session, okay? Whereas this, this material here, absorbs the heat really good, disperses the heat in an even way. It's just a lot better material. And again, this is craftsman, craftsmanship. This is made in the US by artisans, by potters who know what they're doing. And it's actually an old form, uh, an old uh, skill. Not anybody can make those anymore. There's a few guys out there who do them and they're doing a good job at them, whether they're hookah john bowls or other guys. These again. So you're gonna go ahead and make your name and you're gonna call this the Harmony and call this your version of the Alien. Or you're gonna put these little things here to say, oh, they're not the same. They're not the same. Okay. This is a detriment to the hookah industry as well as the hookah smoker, the consumer. So again, these bowls get no respect. Do not use these bowls. All right. We've got some other bowls made in Brazil. I don't want to bag on the Brazilian bowls too much because at least they did a little bit of, um, they have some, uh, what's the word, creativity in the way they're making them. I mean, it looks pretty. You get a different shape, it looks pretty. But again, yeah, I like the, they didn't copy the handle here. And I don't want to bag on the Brazilians that much because, I don't know. I don't know why I, I, I like Brazilians maybe. Um, but this is a copy of somebody else's bowl. I'm pretty sure, would you call this the, do you know the name of what this is a copy of? I don't know, like a good fella or a, um, I, f I don't know all those names. These two are the same. But look inside here. You've got the same material that they're using. It's wide open, thin walled. Just not good material at all. So for, out of respect for these guys, I'm just not gonna break them. But the truth is, they're not gonna smoke that well. They are not going to smoke as well as these bowls are. And it has to do with the materials used. Okay, you can just slip these in a machine in China and have them made and you get a bowl and voila. Okay, if you spend money on those bowls that I mentioned, you're wasting your money. You're not gonna have a good session. All right, spend a couple extra bucks. Buy quality, as with anything in life and have a good session. Get something you can be proud of. Say, when your buddy comes over, hey, check out, check out my new bowl that I got. It's half the price of your bowl. Say, dude, you just wasted your money. So I think I did all right without ranting too much, but um, I just wanted to explain to the guys who already agree with me, and those of you guys who don't agree with me, who think that, oh, John is just mad because of this, and oh, it's great, more choices for us. Yeah, there's more choices for you. More choices to choose the good stuff. Okay, so these bowls cannot be made that easy. They are not produced that easily. Like I said, you need somebody with skill to throw these. And one day I'm gonna make you guys a video. I've, I've uh, thought about this years ago and I said, no, I don't wanna show you guys because it's like trade secrets. I don't want other people to sh uh, know exactly how we make them, but I might take you to the facility where we actually make these. All right, so since there's a fire in the back, I'm gonna end this video now. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll be back to you guys with another video. Hope you liked and see you at Hookah John's Circle of Friends on Facebook. Bye guys.